Don't forget about one of these tonight. Do you guys mind if I talk for a minute about what we're fucking here tonight? You know this fucking place that's landing a hotel is the fucking longest running business in the history of the fucking entire of the Marrickville Shire. It includes fucking Newtown, Petersham, Lewisham, Marrickville, fucking all of these fucking places around here. And the entire time this place has been as a fu- running as a fucking business, as a hotel, it's got a long fucking history this place. It used to be a fucking burlesque fucking town. It used to fucking be the place that you would stop on the way out of Sydney when you wanted to go down to fucking Melbourne. You'd stop off and fucking tie your horse up and fucking have a beer and fucking watch some fucking tits make their fucking clothes off. What do you fucking do about that? This place was fucking established in 18 fucking 60. It's how fucking long this place has been fucking going. The entire time it's been fucking going, it's been passed on from owner to owner to owner. But it's fucking continued it as a fucking bohemian fucking oasis in the middle of fucking corporate fucking Sydney. You know, fucking Melbourneites fucking want to give a shit and fucking say, oh, you know, like Sydney, yeah, it's cool, but it's all about the fucking money, you know? Melbourne's where the fucking culture is. Let me ask you something. When you run into a fucking foreigner and they say, oh, you know, I, I want to go where all the fucking cool people hang out, what do you fucking tell them? What do you tell them to go? You tell them to go to fucking Newtown, don't you? And why do you fucking tell them that? Because that's where the fucking art is. That's where the fucking bands are. That's where the fucking bohemian fucking lifestyle exists in fucking city. Except there's pretty much just one fucking pub left that still fucking holds that fucking torch. And it's the Sando. And you know what? I can accept if a fucking pub gets fucking taken down because the business is not running that well and people aren't going there anymore and fucking white music is fucking dying. But you know what? That's not what fucking happened. The bank fucking came in and put the fucking shift in and fucking stole that fucking place from Tony Rona and from all of us. You understand what's fucking happened? This is the last fucking bastion. This is the last place in fucking Newtown that is the fucking home of white music. And these cunts want to fucking just come in and fucking steal it. Are we going to let that fucking happen? I can't hear you say it again. Now I'm going to say, I'm really fucking stoked that this whole campaign that's been happening about Save Our Sando. You know what? We're gonna play the fucking corporate game. We're gonna get on the television. We're gonna fucking play nice. We're gonna have a nice fucking simple logo that can, everyone can understand. Like S O S, Save Our Sando. I understand that. But you know what? For all the people like us that are on the fucking ground level that go to these fucking gigs, I think we need our own fucking slogan. And I think Save Our Sando is too fucking passive. I've got a fucking other one in mind. Here's my fucking suggestion. Give us back our Sando. Give us back our Sando! 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 So next Sunday there's a big fucking rally happening down in Tempe. And we're gonna get every fucking cut down there to make some noise. And what are we all going to say when the fucking cameras get turned on us? I know what I'm going to say. It's going to go like this. Give us back our sandal.